Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Android Authority. Now, Arm recently made three important announcements. The first was for a new CPU design, which is the Cortex A76. The second was for a new GPU design, which is the Mali G76. And the third was for a new video processor, which is the Mali V76. Now these three designs will actually have an impact on products that we're gonna see in 2019 and beyond. So as consumers, if you want to understand what these three announcements mean for you and for me, well please, let me explain. Now, I'm sure you have noticed that all three of these devices carry the 76 labeling at the end of them, and that is to demonstrate something that, in fact, we already knew, and that is that all ARM components work well one with each other. They are designed to be tightly integrated together. Now, during this video, I'm also gonna show you some clips from the launch event with Rene Haas, one of the senior ARM executives. So let's listen to what Rene said about how these components work well together. So this is not only a set of IP, a CPU, a GPU, a display control, et cetera, et cetera, but it's really a cohesive platform. It's a set of devices that are intended to be used together, deliver the best performance together, deliver the best experience to the end user together. So let's have a look at the Cortex A76. Now the key takeaway here is that Arm are saying that for laptops, for these always connected Windows PCs, we're going to see double the performance that we see with today's devices. Now today's devices are using processors based on the Cortex A73, and they have phenomenal battery life. I mean, the reports that are coming out about the battery life on these things is amazing. However, not everybody has been happy with the level of performance. But with the Cortex A76, we're going to see a doubling of that performance in laptop devices. So with that, you see that starting with A73 onto A75 and the new product I'm about to talk with uh, A76, we've had a tremendous performance increase. Now there's certainly lots of interest in this idea of an always connected PC. So it's running Windows 10, but it's got an ARM processor at its core and an incorporated 4G and later 5G modem, which gives us this always connected device with all day battery life. The battery life is absolutely compelling. Uh, the fact you can truly leave your power supply in your backpack for the entire day is, is a reality now and will only get better. This is what Matt Barlow from Microsoft had to say about this. And devices of this type, ARM-based PCs, like the always connected PC that I'll definitely talk more about today, that Brenny, you did a nice job pitching, by the way. <laughs> um, I, I think are gonna create this new thin, light, always connected, incredibly long battery life, and all the benefits you would expect from a Windows PC is gonna be the thing people prefer at work, at school, or at home. I just think we're setting ourselves up the technology for, for a large pivot in this industry. Mobile phone, but frankly, the, the PC and other devices too. Now, Arm has also shared some technical details about how the Cortex A76 can be incorporated in processors designed specifically for laptops. And as you can see, the idea is we're gonna have Cortex A76 processor clocked at over three gigahertz and built on the seven nanometer process. Arm also suggests that there should be a greater levels of L2 cache for the Cortex A55 processors that accompany the Cortex A76. There should be large amounts of level three cache, and there should be an optimized memory system that allows the processor to get access to that memory in the laptop as fast as possible. Now, along with the new CPU design, there is a new GPU design called the Mali G76. And the G76 is offering 1.5 better performance compared to the Mali G72 at 10 nanometers. You're barely looking at better battery life and you're looking at cross-platform experience. And by cross-platform here, we mean that the G76 can be used just as much in your smartphone as it can be in this always connected Windows 10 PC. So if you look at the figures individually, that's a 30% better performance density, a 30% better energy efficiency, and a 2.7x uplift in machine learning performance. Now, one of the things we all do on both our smartphones and on our laptops is watch video. Now, video decoding, when done in software, is very inefficient and will drain the battery. However, when it's done in hardware, it's incredibly efficient and incredibly fast. And to that end, Arm have released their latest generation of video processor, the Mali V76. Now the V76 is aimed at doing 8K 60 frame a second uh, video decode. That means it's got a two times performance uh, decode increase. It's 40% smaller, and there's a 25% encode quality uplift. Now Arm also showed this amazing diagram, which I think really talks about the power of the video processor. The great thing about the Mali V76 is that you can mix and match the things that it is doing. So you could decode one 8K stream 
at 60 frames a second, or you could decode two 8K streams at 30K a second, or four 4K streams at 60 frames a second, or 16 full HD streams at 60 frames a second. So talk about picture in picture here, we've got four 4K streams being decoded at 60 frames a second, all in the hardware without taxing too much of your battery life. What I really like about this slide is this last entry, which shows that the video processor is capable of decoding an 8K stream, a 4K stream, and four full HD streams simultaneously. So here, ARM um, really are paving the way for future devices and for multiple streams of video on both smartphones and on laptops, and of course on other devices like televisions and, and other display equipment. So in summary, these three announcements are key for the devices that we're going to be using in 2019 and beyond. Not only are we going to see smartphones with better performance, better GPU, better video decoding, we're going to see Windows ARM-based laptops with better performance, that brilliant uh, battery life, and again, better GPU, better video decoding. So it looks like the next sort of 18 months to two years are going to be very exciting in the mobile area. And again, making sure that we have synchronized products that are out at the same time, same time the GPU is available, the CPU is available is really quite important. So you'll see platforms coming out in 2019 that will be using the A76 CPU along with this GPU. Well, my name is Gary Sims and this is Android Authority. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please share this video on social media and don't forget to go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.